Good morning, dear friends. What a joy it is for us to begin this day, sitting at the feet of Jesus for a few minutes, listening to the voice of His Word. And so let us open our hearts and mind to receive God's Word and be prepared to submit ourselves to God's Word and be obedient. The message today, the meditation today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 6, verses 35 to 44. This is the record of Jesus feeding the huge multitude who were with him for a longer time. And when it was time for them to leave, Jesus refused to let them go. He told his disciples, you give them something to eat. Because if I send them away, like they are, they are, they are, they are, they were three days with me. Some of them may faint on the way, and I have compassion on them. And that is the story. That is not merely a story. It is one of the greatest miracles that Jesus performed to show himself to what he is truly. And this one miracle has made the greatest impact upon the disciples. This is the only miracle recorded in all four Gospels. And this miracle shows the contrast between the attitude of Jesus and the attitude of the disciples towards the needs of people or people with needs. So the first thing I would like to bring to your attention is this. The, f the, 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 the two reactions to human needs. First, the reaction of the disciples. And when Jesus told them, you feed them, what was their reaction? Send them away. How easy it is. Send them away. Let them go and take care of themselves. And uh, let them find uh, something for themselves. And you see, these people are tired and hungry. And we don't want to be bothered with them. Let someone else worry about, uh, about them. And so, Lord, get rid of them. It is too much for us. That was their reaction. Let someone else worry about these people. This is still the attitude of many so-called followers of Jesus Christ. Attitude of many towards uh, those people who are hurting and who are in great need. Why is such a response? It is because we have not caught the compassion and love of Jesus Christ for the people around us with, with, with great need. We follow Christ for our own selfish purpose. And we don't want to look beyond ourselves and to see that there are people out there who have greater needs and greater pain and greater hurts. And um, we want to think only of ourselves and our own conveniences. To follow Christ means to have the love and compassion of Jesus. And Jesus told the disciples to feed them and to feed this great multitude. There are among them elderly and they may not have uh, may not have strength left to walk. You give them therefore something to eat. These people are tired and hungry. We must do something about it. And my friends, we meet. That was the attitude of Jesus. While the attitude of Jesus was Send them away. The attitude of Jesus, because of his compassion for people, was no, 
you give them something to eat. And you know, there are people who see men and women in need. And uh, there, there, we meet these two kinds of people even today. There are needy people and there are still people who see men and women in need, in trouble, but we look the other way. We are like uh, the priest and Levites of the parable of the Good Samaritan. We look the other way and walk on. We push the responsibility uh, of doing something about it to someone else. We need the spirit of compassion of Christ to go out of our way and uh, out of our own conveniences to help somebody who need us. You know, my friends, there are always somebody needing us and our help. There are always also people who say, I need to do something to help that person in trouble. And such kind of people also are there. And we thank God and praise God for them. And it is because of such good Samaritans. Oh, so many were thousands and millions of such people through the years have been rescued from destruction and from, uh, from, uh, from uh, suffering. Many of them are doing so well in their career as well because somebody took pity and compassion on them. And the second thing I want you to notice is this. Two reactions to human resources. The first thing was two reactions to human needs. One was indifference. Send them away. Let them take care of themselves. And then of course Jesus was no, we will feed them and strengthen them so that they will be strong enough to walk. Now the second thing is two reactions to human resources. When Jesus told them that they should feed this huge multitude, they insisted that they will never find enough to feed the multitude in that place. That was their reaction, as far as their resources are concerned. And then they said, even if we, we work for six months, we will not earn enough to feed this crowd. In other words, they were saying, our resources are so limited that we better stop even thinking about feeding them. No use even to try at all. But then Jesus spoke again. My friends, Jesus is the answer to all human needs. Jesus asked them, what have you got? And their answer was they had five loaves and two fishes. And what was the crowd like? A huge, maybe 20,000 or 15,000. There was 5,000 men alone. Then how about the women and the children? There were so many. Jesus asked them, what have you got? And they of course had this. In the Greek language, the bread they brought 
was barley bread, barley loaves. And barley loaves were the food of the poorest of the poor those days in Palestine. It was the cheapest of all bread that is available. They had two fishes as well. It did not seem much. But Jesus took it in his hand. And what a miraculous work he did with those five barley loaves and two fishes. In his hand, he worked miracles with it. We may think we have only a little of a talent or substance to give to Jesus. There, and, and that is nothing worthwhile. If we put ourselves in the hands of Jesus Christ, we cannot even dream of the wonders he will do with uh, us. You think that you are a nothing and a nobody. But what I meant was, it doesn't matter. It is not the size of what you give to Jesus. But it is the heart with which you give anything to Jesus. With your whole heart, what you have. You know, human resources to meet your need may be practically nothing. But in the hand of Jesus, listen to this, in the hand of Jesus, little is much. And therefore, this morning, let me urge you, do not hesitate to surrender and place yourself in the hands of Jesus Christ. All that you are and all that you have, place them in the hand of Jesus. And you see, the marvelous wonders he can perform with you in his hand. And this is the message. There is a huge multitude out there. They are broken. They are hurting. They have pain. They have sorrows and they have sicknesses. Many are scared. Then many are depressed. My friends, they need Jesus. But the only way they are not going to find Jesus is through you. Will you therefore offer yourself to Jesus? Place yourself in his hand and see what God Almighty, the gracious Lord, can accomplish through you. You know who was the happiest person that day in that crowd? That small little boy who brought his lunch, which was offered to Jesus. And I imagine that he did not even eat. He stood in a corner and he watched thousands and thousands of people being fed by that small lunch box which he offered to Jesus. He must have been so excited and he must have tears in his hand because of that joy and excitement. He ran home and he shouted, Mommy, do you know what happened today? And then he described what happened. And that mother would have been most excited that day. 
you will never know the joy that will be overflowing in you and through you as you touch lives who are in need of you. May the Lord grant you this generosity. May the Lord grant you and give you a heart that is filled with the compassion and love of Jesus Christ and which will open your eyes to see the needs of people who are crying out and who needs your tender touch and see what God will do. May the Lord bless you and use you as you surrender yourself to the Lordship of Jesus to be a worker for God, to be a blessing to thousands of people, to touch somebody and help somebody. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will enable you and the Holy Spirit will guide you as you give what you are and what you have into the hands of Jesus and wait for his miraculous work to be accomplished in you and through you. God be with you. This is a great day. Enjoy this day as you walk with the Lord. Amen.